Moby Dick, 1956, movie review. During the time of the great whalers, Captain Ahab, one such whaler, a captain of a whaler, whaling ship, lost his leg to a particular whale, a great white whale hunted by many, seen, witnessed all across the, the many oceans, the stuff of legends. Ahab can neither forgive nor forget that Moby Dick cost him this leg. And with a crew, he will hunt it to its death, risking the lives of everyone with this sole purpose. This is an amazing film. I had hoped it from, you know, a Ray Bradbury script and a John Huston, John Huston directing, but it really is fantastic. I have not read the book, but I do know the gist of it. Gregory Peck is fantastic, just spot on as Captain Ahab. He has the intensity and the the hatred, you know, you see it in his eyes. There is just, there is nothing left for this man other than his revenge, you know. This, this is everything to him. This is his, you know, his only ambition left. Ishmael is not particularly the lead character. He is essentially a witness to what goes on. And I believe this is staying true to the book, correct me if I'm wrong. The effects are astonishing. They, there is some bad green screening, but on the whole, I don't know how they did it. I, you know, some kind of mechanical effects, maybe some of those whales are real whales. I don't know, but it looks fantastic. It's, it's really well paced. You're never bored, even when there isn't something inherently exciting, such as a whale hunt. We do see a couple, you know, to, to really, to set up how dangerous it is. You know, even when there isn't something threatening someone's life, it, you know, it builds character. It regales the legend, the tale, if you will, of Moby Dick, and just, you know, you... And you get a real sense of what things were like back then, you know. There is this, you know, we start out in this little town where it's really just, you know, you're a whaler. That's, that's what you are there, you know. You work on a ship to, you know, send, set out to, you know, kill whales for, you know, the, the bounty thereof. You know, you incredible danger, very low pay, and it really is just, you know, they really, you know, these people really had to struggle to get by, and you really, you know, you feel that. You can, you can really put yourself in their place, and, you know, it's, it's almost incomprehensible to us, to modern human beings, just how horrible this life was, but the film does its darndest to, you know, really convey this, and it really works. The film is 110 minutes, and no time is really wasted. You know, it spends some time setting up, you know, you get the basic idea of this world, kind of, you know, the world of whaling, and, you know, you, you spend just enough time on land to appreciate it, to, you know, miss it once the, you know, once the ship leaves the dock, you know.
which is by the way the last time you ever see a single female in the film you know it really it doesn't compromise for much at all at least for the whole Hollywood thing you know it's it is as harsh as it should be the dialogue is fantastic in general just the lines you know some of it is essentially monologuing the lines were just great a bunch of them are directly from the book and that's how it should be because why change it you know when you can use the, the original language and it it really you know these are powerful words it's very kind of flowery language you know as is usually the case with this kind of it is you know an adaptation of a novel and an old novel of that so you know and these actors really you know there is passion behind the delivery of these lines you know not only to peck but just in general the characters are great there are some really interesting types you know just aboard the ship itself which is mostly the pretty much all of the characters in the film are you know the ones aboard the ship excuse me and just you know very different perspectives very different behavior and attitudes you're not going to necessarily remember absolutely everyone's name but the basic characteristics do stick with you at least sufficiently i can imagine this cuts down the overall you know action of the book a bit and that is necessary of course you know to fit it all in the thematic is really well treated you know it this isn't really spoiling anything it's set up pretty early on basically by devoting all these all these resources and you know risking all these lives just for revenge captain ahab is essentially committing blasphemy he is sinning against god and you know you can kind of tell this is you know that's not a good thing it's you know it's going to you know really endanger their lives it's you know one thing is to go out and try to kill whales for a living that in itself is extremely dangerous but to you know defy god and you know th th you know when this was written it the book especially the you know e people really really believed deeply and it shows but it isn't you know i don't know i didn't personally find it offensive in the film you know context and everything and you know it yeah it it's really going to hurt it is only going to be a worse journey and quest on account of this decision you know they're not out to make a living they're not trying to help anyone they're just you know ahab is satisfying his primal urge for just revenge you know an eye for an eye you cost me a leg and i will not let you get away with that the i suppose that pretty well covers it it's a film you really get into you know it it just grips your attention and does not let go you know and it does not feel long at all it i'm not sure it quite flies by but it doesn't feel it it feels more like an experience you know you you are there on the boat with them you know out in out at sea and just trapped and in a really desperate situation Yeah, I think that pretty well covers it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.